Hi, this is Christine with another journal. I just finished making this one this morning, and it's very similar to the one that I posted in my video tutorial on how to make these journals, except this one is smaller. So I started off with a book that was a little bit narrower. It's not quite as thick as the one that I used in my video tutorial. So I just reduced the number of signature pages. I have the same number of sheets of paper in there, except I only have three signatures instead of five. And this little book is travel themed. And the original book measured about five inches by seven and a half inches and it's almost two inches thick by the time all of my pages are in there. And this is the paper pad that I used. My local micro store just came out with a whole bunch of different pads of paper. They were really few and far between before and now it seems like they've come out with a whole bunch of paper pads and they're really quite nice. So this one is called Fly Me Away. It's by Recollections, and it was a hot buy, so I was able to get that at a cheaper price. So the papers are really nice in it. I thought it would be perfect for my little travel album. Now, on here, I've got, again, the same closure as yesterday, just some seam binding. And for this one, I tied three pieces of seam binding together. And I've got a little tag from the paper collection, and it says, Free to Explore the World, on the front. And then I've got this beautiful paper. I don't know if you can see that. It's got sort of gold colored print on there. And then I have some upholstery fabric that I put over the spine. The book was quite well, well used, quite worn, but I do like the worn look on it. But even then, I wanted to um, make the spine a little bit more solid, so I covered it with my upholstery fabric. And I added a little bit of trim there. Not too much in the way of embellishments on the cover because this is a journal and it's meant to bring with you on your travels. I will be listing this in my Etsy shop if anybody is interested in purchasing it. But I thought I'd show you what it looks like. And like I said, it's the same construction as my other album in my tutorial where I attach the pages to the fabric spine and then I attach the spine inside the book. And I keep referring to these as albums, but they're actually journals. I'm so used to making mini albums. And so I'll just take you quickly here. On the inside, I put this photograph. It's a photograph of a train, but this is in the paper stack. And then here, little suitcases. On my tab, I've got three tabs that you can write on. And I put a little eyelet, and here's the Eiffel Tower on a chain. And then down here, I have a little windmill. And then I have a ship's wheel here. And then I've got, similar to my other journal, these beautiful dangling crystals. And I've got five, five pages plus two coffee stain pages. So that's seven times two is 14, 28 pages per signature that you can write on, and I've got three of those. So that's 84 pages to write on in this little journal. So again, I put a doily, I like this doily, so I put a doily in here, it forms a pocket, and then there's a coffee stain, another coffee stain page. And there's the photo mat. It's got pictures of old style cameras on there. And I've got the little tabs here. And there's some more regular paper and some coffee stain paper. And then here it says welcome aboard. And then you can tuck something in behind there. And this is on the back of my first signature. Then on this one, again, I've got another little tag here, and you can tuck something behind there. I'm 
just going to go through this quickly. And here's just a clear piece of plastic that you can tuck something in there, mementos. I've got a pocket. Another clear sheet of plastic. And then another little tag here. And that's the end of the second signature. And here's my third. Another doily. And another large photo mat here and on that side. And then there's the other side of the doily. So these albums or these journals are geared to writing. So that's why I'm not putting many embellishments in there at all. The embellishments are all on the side. So it gives you maximum writing space. And there's another little tuck spot in here. And then on the back, here's another little tag. And I just attached that here, and that just slides in like that. And then on the back, it says, Enjoy the Journey. So that's my little album, or my little journal. These are really addictive to make. I've already got some more on the go, and I'll post those to YouTube once once they're done, but it's really a lot of fun to make and it's a great way to use up leftover pieces from past projects. So have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye!